Hallelujah. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord indeed. I greet you, Emmanuel. If God be with you, I can hear you. No one can be against you. Glory be to God. Viewers all over the world, where can we go from his presence? Thank you for your time. I know you are blessed. I want to take you towards some passages in the Bible. And I know it will bless your soul, your spirit, your body. Amen. Let's take a look at the book of Romans. Turn. We take some of the proof ready there. Beverin, my heart, desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. That is the greatest thing you can desire for a friend, the salvation of soul, which is the greatest. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom, or oh, shall be war. I can hear you. Uh-huh. Seek first what? That is the desire for Israel here. Verse two, for I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. What are they trying to say there? That is test two. Verse three, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness, you know, ignorance is a disease, and seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. That could be regarded as self-righteousness. The Bible says self-righteousness boasts in itself. Why God's righteousness boasts in the finished work of our Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, there are two righteousness in this way. Verse 4, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Everyone who believes. Everyone who are? Who believes. Verse 5. For Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does those things shall live by them. Let's go to verse 13. For whoever calls on the name of the law shall be saved. Take note of that. For whoever calls on the name of the law shall be what? Shall be saved. I will take my title, The Highway to Heaven. Let someone say, The Highway to Heaven. Highway. You know what I mean by highway? You say, Oh, highway. Beautiful. To get to heaven, you must follow the way of the cross. To get to heaven, you must follow what? I can hear you. I can hear you. To get to heaven, you must follow the way of the cross. What is the way of the cross? The highway to heaven starts on this side of death. And the entrance is very easy to find. Entrance to heaven through this is easy because the Bible is saying here that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let someone say the entrance to heaven is very easy to find. I can hear you. Yeah. When you take it from that Romans 10, verse 1 to 13, which I've read, Paul declared here that the road to heaven is not difficult to find. 
Are you on the right road? Ask your neighbor. I can hear you. Paul Apostle is saying here that the road to heaven is not difficult to find, nor to assess. The question, are you on the right road to heaven? That is the question you need to ask yourself. It is right in your front. It is right in your what? In your front. Tell your neighbor, it is right in your front. I can hear you. In the word of God. Because the Bible says, He speaks to us through His word by His Spirit. Tell your neighbor, it is right in my front. The road to heaven. It is right in my front. In the word of God. It is right in my front in the word of God. The road to heaven. In that book of John 14 verse 6, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the word. I can hear you. Take it with me, verse 6. He said, Jesus said to him, I'm the way, the truth, and the lie. No one comes to the Father except through me. He dies for our sin, broken the power of death by resurrection. You need not fear where you are going when you know Jesus is going with you. Tell your neighbor, you need not fear where you are going when you know Jesus is going with you. You are not alone. Death is not a period it is only a comma. You put comma into your book when you are writing, but comma. It is not a period. It is only a comma. Comma. Because of Jesus Christ's death and resurrection, it's not a period. It is only what? A comma. We who put our faith in Him, in Christ Jesus, can look at death not as a period, but a comma. If you put your faith in Christ Jesus, death is not a period. But a what? Any day, even today, may be our final day on earth. We need to be sure that we are ready to depart. Are you? Ask your neighbor, are you? Are you? I can hear you. Are you? Ask your neighbor. Are you? If we are prepared to die, we are prepared to live. Tell your neighbor, if you are prepared to die, you are prepared to live. Tell your neighbor once again. Tell your neighbor, are you? I can hear you. you. That is a question for you to answer. Will you be ready?
face your neighbor and ask your neighbor, if you are prepared to die, you are prepared to live. Tell your neighbor once again. I can hear you. Are you? You may be seated. Whether you are young or old, what matters is the grace to continue living. Here after, that is the grace. A man may die young, yet being satisfied with living. But a wicked man is not satisfied even with long life. Continue to trust God is the only way to get the things you are not ready for. Tell your neighbor, continue, continue. To, trust to trust Jesus is the only way the only to get the thing yes. you are not ready for. Ready. If you are prepared to die, you are prepared to live. I pray you will know when it is your time of departure. That is my prayer for you, to know when it is time for your departure.
You may be seated. I pray for you today that when it is time for you to depart, you will know in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord.